First thing I do when I wake up is just go to catering, eat my meal for the day, and then immediately get back to the room and start just sitting on my laptop, getting through whatever course I'm doing at the time. And I, I think I just relatively annoy the other members of the band during the day because I never stop talking. I'm always like, hey, what are you doing? What are you, do are you gonna finish eating that? What's going on with you? And um, it can be a little bit grating towards the, like the fifth uh, week of the tour. But luckily, I, uh, I never clue into when somebody's like, hey, shut the fuck up. I just keep on going and going and going. But um, no, I mean, this tour has been, been really good for, for uh, camaraderie. Uh, it's been nice to reconnect with the Simple Plan guys and really nice to, uh, to meet everyone in Cassiette. We went to uh, a VR arcade with the Simple Plan guys the other day and I dominated a player versus player shooting match. Um, as far as getting ready for a show, I uh, basically just, you know, get ready about start the, the preparation about two hours before. Uh, laptop never closes during the day, so I'll just switch to uh, using a, um, a guitar program called Omega. And I'll just start warming up my, uh, my hands. I do a uh, left hand warm up put on my show clothes, and then do a right hand warm up until the show. I mean, during the tour, there was a, a few fans that are like very common, so we get to see some uh, some faces that we haven't seen since the pandemic, which was, uh, which was a good time. I mean, also, uh, just getting to meet people after the show was great. Um, one highlight of meeting fans was uh, in Spain. There was just a group of fans on the way to the bus. It was almost like a uh, like a red carpet, and it was uh, it was it was a nice experience because everybody was very very mannerly, nice, and um, to see the amount of young faces that we're seeing uh, these days, just the 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 new cycle of of uh, rock and roll fans. It's huge, and it means a lot to us because, uh, I mean, we've been a band that's been around long enough to have gone through a period of uh, popularity and a like a, a downtime period, where, which a lot of bands that stay together for the uh, the amount of time that we've been in a band, uh, we we all experience it. We have this great high, you experience a low, and then eventually, if you stick it out, that low will come back, and uh, you can be a part of. Um, something that could be popular again. But you gotta love what you're doing to, to get through those lows because it can be rough.